News just coming in. KwaZulu Natal Premier Senzong Kun has resigned. The reports of his possible resignation emerged last week. It was reported that a provincial ANC unit asked him to step down after differences emerged between them. ANN7 reporter Zintlem Gadi brings us more on the story. Zintlem, very good afternoon to you. Obviously, bad news for some people. Uh, this uh, resignation by Senzom Kuno was uh, long coming uh, uh, since the weekend following strong pressure in the past week for him to step down. And uh, just the support base, the SACP, telling uh, uh, reporters that Kuno would uh, definitely resign today. Yeah, you know, the resignation of uh, the Premier Senzom Kuno comes as no surprise as you said that there has been reports uh, before. But I think the alarm the alarm bells started ringing when he lost the elective conference last year. And there was a new chairperson of the province that came in. And I remember specifically uh, we, when uh, journalists were asking the NEC members that were in the provincial con the conference, uh, whether the two powers of state uh, will clash or not, you know, having two powerful positions, two state agencies, w won't it clash? And, and, and they, they raised a, a lot of uh, other examples. Uh, they said Gauteng, the, the Gauteng province has had two states, they've had a premier and a different chairperson before. So obviously they expected that it would gel, but obviously considering the fact that KZN is one of the strongholds of the uh, of the African National Congress. Uh, it was going to cause clashes at some point. And um, ahead of the local government elections, uh, we see now that the the, the, the premier has uh, resigned. What is shocking is that we see his, resign his resignation uh, coming before the, the the national elections or even the the local government elections. We would have expected that at least. Um, like the chairperson Sikhe Zigalala said when he came into the position of chairperson, he said he stole um, responsibility at that point, which was last year in October. His sole responsibility was to unify the ANC. Now you know that the ANC has had a lot of clashes, a lot of factions um, over the months, but his priority at that point was to unify uh, the, 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 the African National Congress. So it becomes very uh, shocking that you see the resignation of the Premier coming so early in, in the year. Talk to us about uh, some of those governance issues and uh, defying the party's leadership and what those issues were uh, that they felt he's defied. It wasn't necessarily an issue of defying, but you, I think at this point you need to understand the ball game of politics. You know, um, at this point you have a new leadership that has come in the province. Uh, they have new people that they want to come into power, and so they are just now strategically placing themselves so that they can move the correct people into the positions that they want. And in this case, we saw yesterday uh, during the national prayer. Uh, that the, the actual premier was not there. Instead, somebody that was referred to as an acting premier, you know, was there and delivering a speech. That alone showed that there's some kind of ball game that is changing. The game is changing all in all. So the resignation of, of the premier at this point, for me, it, it's not alarming at that. It, it's been on the card, it's been under wraps. And um, at some point earlier in the year, we had reports that uh, the leadership of KZN had proposed to the NEC in Cape Town to recall uh, or, or to propose a, sh a reshuffle, rather. And apparently that, that, that proposition was then turned down. But now we are seeing that uh, things are going the way that they've always supposed to have gone. Uh, it's, it's not within the rules of the ANC to have a chairperson who is not the premier in a province. And so it's just a matter of time that we see Sikhe Zigalala taking that throne.
Has um, Senzong Kun uh, said anything since his resignation? I know that he's, he told the PEC that uh, he wouldn't resign before discussing it with President Zuma. Uh, and uh, now that he has resigned and sudden decision to resign today, is this an indication that he could have spoken to President Zuma uh, when he was uh, there in Durban, uh, when he, well, he is there in Durban, uh, for the day of prayer? And uh, even the fact that uh, he wasn't at the stadium, you know, is an indication of, of what's really been happening. Well, we, we can't really uh, say whether he's spoken to the president at this point or not. But I think if, if, if there's one of the key issues that has been uh, in, in the premier's mind is the issue of a possible reshuffle. And um, we've spoken, some of the sources have said that um, uh, there might be a possibility that the premier would be moved and deployed into national. Um, I'm sure he... Well, if you've just joined us, breaking news coming in as uh, Senzam Kuna has resigned as uh, KwaZulu Natal's premier following uh, mounting pressure since uh, last week. It's emerged over the weekend that uh, the ANC's leadership in the province uh, had given him until uh, today to step down. And he's been accused of a number of things defying the party's leadership on governance issues. Of course, the ANC divisions in the province have been very visible since Mkunu had lost his position as uh, the parties that KZN's chairperson to Sisle Zikalala last year. However, Mkunu was also set to attend the National Day of Prey in Durban yesterday, but uh, instead, uh, veteran MP Willis Mkunu stood in for him. Uh, there's also been reports of a looming provincial cabinet reshuffle that our reporters in Zimgadi was talking to us about earlier. However,